Hello, I'm Pete, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas, The Jote, a series in which I play as the Jack of All Trades, a character for which all permanent changes to special skills and perks must be very, very balanced, forcing me to play with no specialization whatsoever. If you want more details, check out the description of the video. We're here in Novak. I came here to pay some money to Ada Strauss to get rid of my radiation sickness, which I probably should have done a while ago. What I would like to do first in this episode is find the Caesar's Legion safe house. We've been given a pointer to it. First, let's make sure that quest isn't active. And we want to go up here, let's set our marker on it. And I think probably traveling from Nipton is our safest bet. Shouldn't run into anything that's too challenging here. So let's get out the recharger pistol and that will do us nicely. Yes, I was going to say there will be some scorpions over there. And in fact, there's a scorpion behind us. Thankfully, our companions are good with that sort of thing. There'll be some more scorpions in this corner. And they will also probably be dispatched before I even notice that they're here. Oh, I noticed. You were in here, eh? Indoor scorpion. Don't see many of those. Okay, I think I can get through the fence. Oh, startling. I think I might have changed some of the volume settings, and so now every time a scorpion dies, it jump scares me. Let's do something about that, shall we? Okay, I need to get myself up onto that little ramp. Uh, let's go around to the left. No. Let's go around to the right. Looks like there's another location just up here, so I might see if I can get close enough to trigger it. It'll be this little shack down here. Whose's shack is that? Bradley's shack. Let's find out who Bradley is. Oh, something just went crunch. Right, I think one of my companions might have triggered a trap. So I've disarmed it a little bit post-maturely. Are you... You're both fine. Companions in this game generally quite tough. And a little bit of ammo tucked in here. Bunch of grenades, I think. There's a very easy locked first aid box. Let's grab that. There'll be a stim pack or two, no doubt. No stim pack. Okay. Bradley's shack. A little bit of a damp squib. So we need to get up there. So I think, yeah, running around this side of the mountain is probably our only option. It's a nice pool of green. Some red marks there. Those might be big hoarders, or they might be respawned raiders. Either way, I don't need to worry myself with them. Here we go. We have found the Caesar's Legion safe house. We have the key, so let's go inside. True to Kaiser. Hello, veteran what Atticus. Do you, want? do you live in the attic normally? Why are you here? I'm here to keep everything in order. As a friend of the Legion, I can offer you some supplies while you're here. Mm, thank you. Can I get some? I have some goods collected during my travels. You may take something if you wish. Magazine stealth boy cat eye. Let's have the magazines. Might get a locksmith reader. This is what I have right now. Today's physician. Only the one. Brilliant. Okay, let's see what else is in this place. So, let's go around this room methodically. There's a skull. I will not be taking the skull. Some junk here. A dino toy. So far, very underwhelming, Atticus. Right, there is a chainsaw on this bed and some Legion Centurion armor. Don't think I need either of those. Now, there is some ammo and a sniper rifle. That's a bit better. And a displacer glove. That's pretty cool. Some time bombs and the lucky shades. The lucky shades are the thing I'm particularly interested in. Right, I'm off now, because that's all I wanted here. Bye.
So from up here, this is a decent place if you wanted to make an assault on the old nuclear test site. However, as you can see, there's already lots and lots of red marks here, which is ghouls. And I don't think I'll last very long if I head in that direction. That said, I've got the rat slayer. There might be some things I can do. I'm in caution already. This isn't going to go well, is it? I'm going to die in seconds, aren't I? Okay, so the actual building where the um, the skill book is nestled is over there. Oh, I do see one moving around there. Let's try it. Okay. So, what's happened here? I've got his attention. My companions are probably going to do something stupid. Multiples will be aggroed. And before you know it, we're going to be overwhelmed. Just saying. That's what's going to happen. Because that's what always happens. Okay, back down to caution. Oh. Alright, one coming in here. See, my bullets are not doing anywhere near enough. We're now in danger, so the horde is upon us. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, indeed. Let's try to help. We're going to die here. It is known. Still in danger. I think they're coming from over there. Okay, I'll use Vats to queue up a few shots. That one missed. Veronica's got a good punch on though. Okay, back to caution. I kind of want to move towards that little snipey hut there. I'm reluctant to drop a quick save. No, I don't want to wait. Because I might still regret this. So I'm seeing some red marks over there, but I'm not... Oh, that's some legs. And you're a ghoul. That shot was reasonably good. Got one down. As long as we don't aggravate the ones that are over there, we can work this. One at a time. Now, I know that was arguably not a great place to reload, but I only had one shot left. We have loads of ammo for this gun, as you may have noticed. So, let me see. These ones are going to be tough. They're going to be nasty. I sort of want to save them for last. Let's try and... Let's try and draw the attention of one more. You. Okay, he's nearly dead. This is going quite well. Again, I shall stay close to my companions. And hope that they don't run in. Stimpak, that's actually pretty good loot for a ghoul. Normally it's a joke. Okay, so I'm seeing a red mark over there, but he must be behind the... Oh, there he is. Has he seen me? He has. That's slightly annoying, because that meant I didn't get the initial sneak attack. And those shots are clipping against the ground. Fortunately, Eddie is... Okay, I think I need something bigger. Let's switch to the shotgun. Okay. We've got at least two now. Oh. This is probably the bit where it all goes wrong. Okay, back to caution. Oh, but Eddie's trying to wake people up. Yeah, this is this is the inevitable. Okay, I'm, I'm in hidden, which comes as a surprise. 
Eddie, don't engage that thing. No shot. Oh, why are they not landing? Well, he's here now. Don't get in my way, Veronica. That's very much in my way, Veronica. Okay, now Eddie's just engaging that thing over there. It does look like it's the only one left, though. It really shouldn't be running towards us. That's a terrible idea. But I suppose it is only a ghoul. It probably doesn't have the, uh, the mental acuity that it once had. the Brotherhood. Okay, we're now down to hidden. I'm dropping the quick save. I think we're keeping this. Because I suspect... Oh, I didn't mean to pick up the human flesh. Though actually, I am a cannibal. I do have the perk. Yeah, I think this is going to stay. Because there's now no red marks on the compass at all. We might have successfully dealt with all of the ghouls that hang out around here. Uh, not expecting great loot here. Wow, and even still I was disappointed. Now. Yep, there's a little bit of radiation here. In fact, quite a lot bit of radiation. So we want to get in and out as quickly as possible. Is there radiation inside? There is. Okay, so we want to quickly get the skill book and get out. Um, and I need to very carefully avoid, there we go, Nikola Tesla and you grab the shotgun as well, uh, I want to avoid uh, what do I want to avoid I don't know, I had a thought and it just escaped from me right, plus 8 rounds we need to run for it, now do I need to get away from the radiation before I can fast travel away, let's find out let's head back to Novak good we don't ok, our rads have crept up a little bit, this time we're not going to leave it so long before dealing with that Let's find Ada Strauss and give her another 100 caps. Easier said than done. Oh, there's some people over there. That's probably her. Incidentally, what are our skills? Energy weapons is down at 43. That's our lowest. I will just treat the radiation first, just for some clarity. What can I do for you? 100 caps. Do it. So let's check the skills again. Yeah, so now 43 is the minimum, so we can actually take that energy weapons skill book straight away, as per the rules. That has been done. Okay, that's good news. Okay, so I'm feeling buoyed up from my successes with the ghouls. I'm going to take on some more ghouls. Back in a very early episode, we did make an attempt at the Mesquite Mountains crater up here. Let's go back and see how we do this time. Okay, so I think some rad scorpions may have spawned in the immediate vicinity. But we can probably just run away from them. What weapon will I want? Uh -oh. Who what? Okay, scorpion over there. Uh, that doesn't do much good because of the armour. We have a little bit of armour piercing ammo. But, to be honest, if we just wait long enough, Eddie deals with it. Okay, another one there. Critical strikes. Is it doing any damage? Am I just wasting my armor-piercing ammo on a, an enemy that doesn't deserve it? I might just switch to the recharger pistol, you know. Go team. Right. I think the crater is up here to the northwest. Or maybe just to the north. Okay, so we're starting to see some red marks appearing. Those are going to be ghouls. Now, we want to take these off before we get closer. Last time we charged in and it all went very badly. So 
so. Let's see what happens. Uh -oh. Okay, that doesn't do much damage. Is it going to come towards us or is it going to get bored and run away? <sighs> Back to hidden, okay. Trouble. Maybe we can just keep repeating this. Is someone pushing me off the I've hill? Worse. Okay, we've found a nice way to cheese these. Surprised that one's not dead yet. We'll reload while it goes back to hidden. That was the shot that I thought was going to finish it off. Okay. It is getting dark, so let's sleep through to the morning. By sleep, of course, I mean just stand here. Alright, let's try and take out another one. Okay, I'm in caution already, that's not desirable. That didn't land. That did, but didn't do much damage. And now he's running off in that direction. And standing still. Okay, this gun's not doing much at all. I'm going to try the YCS. It's a loud gun. I might regret this. Trouble. Did more damage. But I think... I think we've got enough ammo to justify this. Okay, he's down. Gonna drop a quick save here because we're back in hidden. And let's get the rat slayer out and hope that we can get a really nice crit. Hey. That was a really well. It was what it was. That's enough of that. Let's do the YCS. That I think missed. That did the job. Okay, so I think that is all of the outside contingent dealt with. Now, there is definitely going to be at least one hostile inside this place. And a small amount of radiation. And a bit of full damage. I think another quick save might be in order. I'm going to keep this gun out. Um, actually, no, I'm going to switch to the Q35. I think the Q35 will be better in the, uh, the fast-paced environment that we will find ourselves in in here. Okay, what have we got? Just a crazed Mr. Handy. Okay. Um, let's just go for the body. Okay, that's doing nice damage. Bosh. Back to hidden. And there's no radiation in here. So I can take my time grabbing weapon repair kit and anything else. Don't want the irradiated foods. Is that a star cap? Twas. And Dr. Rotson. Let's take whatever is worth having from him. And there's definitely a skill book around here. There it is, the DC Journal of Internal Medicine. That is going to be a skill book that will give us plus four to medicine. Can we take it right now? Medicine of the 43. We can. Let's do it. Okay. I'll briefly check upstairs, but I don't think there's anything up here. Very much big, fat nothing. Nice. Let's, um, let's get out of here and very quickly fast travel to see if we can avoid taking much more radiation. Super. Good work, team. Everyone's doing a great job. Where are you two running off to? Is it business? So let's move forwards with the I Put a Spell on You quest. We need to see if we can assist Captain Curtis in his operation as Camp McCarran. Curtis, you may recall, is the undercover Legion spy who is working within the NCR. Looks like he might be behind this door here. All right, dude. Nice to meet you. I'm Curtis. I know who you are. I'm working for the Legion, too. Christ, keep it down. You want to blow the whole thing? We've worked years for this. But maybe it's good for you here. Shu knows about the leaks, and I'm supposed to find the spy for him. At first, I couldn't believe my luck. But since I haven't produced results, for obvious reasons, I feel him looking at me differently now. Maybe he's just thinking about putting someone else in charge. Maybe he's starting to suspect 
Either way, it's bad for me. Especially once this next part goes down. I find it really interesting that just by walking up to Curtis and saying, I'm working for the Legion, we get him to A, reveal that he's working for the Legion too, and B, tell us all of these sordid details. It's like, you know, what's he thinking? Let's say hypothetically I wasn't working for the Legion and it was just my job to find the Legion spies. He's making my job very easy. So, how many years have you been on this assignment? It took me three and a half years just to make captain. Usually takes four, but I made sure there was an early vacancy. Caesar sees threats before they're even aware of them. He sent me long before we moved to occupy the Eastern Riverbank. And now all my work, all the waiting, is about to pay off. What next part? If you haven't noticed, the NCR bolsters its presence on the strip from here. Sends troopers on the monorail and shifts. The monorail lets them occupy two positions for the price of one. It's a supply line that's immune to raiders and other hindrances on the ground. If someone were to cut that line, both positions would be much weaker, fragile. They know this, and they watch it like hawks. But I've been here a long time, and I've learned everything there is to know about it, and I'm going to blow up that train. And you have something in mind for me. I told you. I think they're starting to suspect me. You're going to help me cast away those suspicions. You're going to put the bomb on that train. I'll be sure to be in the presence of several reliable eyewitnesses when it happens. Then, we're going to pin this on a scapegoat. I plan on disappearing after this operation. It'd be a matter of time before they trace it to me. Figured out I was a frumentarius. But with your help, maybe I can stay on after all. Make plans for something grander. Hmm. The scapegoat isn't me, is it? No, no. I wouldn't do that. Not unless I didn't have better options anyway. And I do. Tell me what I need to do. I have the explosive stash in a trash can, next to the ticketing counter, along with some incriminating documents. You'll pick them up and make your way upstairs to the monorail terminal. They change the guard there at 0, 0900 and 1800 hours. There'll be a small window where there's no one guarding the train. Hmm, and what do I do when I'm at the train? Put the bomb in one of the vents inside the train on the back wall, towards the joint that connects the cars. Arm it, and get out of there. I've also left some bomb ingredients in with the explosives. You're to take those to the footlocker of Private Crenshaw. Crenshaw's a problem child. Lots of run-ins with his superiors. It'll be easy for them to believe he's working for the Legion. Okay, is that everything? Report him to Colonel Shu. Do all that and we should be free and clear. Oh, and Crenshaw should be dead before you report him. Don't leave any chance for him to deny the bombings. Let's say he pulled a gun on you. I've got him on guard duty patrolling the tarmac just inside the south gate. And I reassigned the other guard, so he should be alone. So where do I find his footlocker? His footlocker's in the barracks in the main concourse. Understood. I'll go over and pick up the explosives. Good. Try to plant the explosives quietly if you can. You'll make both our lives easier. But first things first. Go offer your services to Colonel Shu. Tell him you'll work independently to find the leak. He's running out of options. He'll accept as long as you don't give him a reason not to. If he doesn't, then don't be surprised if you're the new scapegoat. So don't fuck this up. Right. Goodbye. Later. There is a lot to remember. Is it all in my quest log? I sure hope so. Well, first I need to offer to help Shu find the spy, so that's a nice simple one. But yeah, we need to plant the stuff on Crenshaw, we need to kill Crenshaw, we need to plant the bomb, and then... Is that everything? I think that might be everything. I'm usually good with faces, but I don't think I've seen you here before. What brings you to Camp McCarran? I'm here to provide support. Is there anything I might be able to help with? Hmm. You don't cook by any chance, do you? Farber's doing his best, but it's hard to manage an army with half my staff in line for the latrine. Honestly, we're fighting a lot of fires right now. The fiends keep pressing their position from Vault 3. We've got the Legion breathing down our necks across the river. We actually took an officer alive last week, but so far he hasn't spoken a word. No, none of this interests me. Have you got anything more spy-related? That's more my wheelhouse. Any other problems? Yeah. On top of everything else, I can't send a patrol on a bathroom break without it being ambushed by someone who heard they were coming. So somebody's getting the word out. Hmm. I could look into who's leaking NCR intelligence. Hope I don't seem too eager. Hmm. Well, why not? Given your recent arrival, at least I can safely rule you out as the leak. I'd like to have absolute trust in my men, but that's just not practical right now. Go ahead and look into it. See what you find. 
But we don't have much to go on right now. Lately, every raiding party in New Vegas seems to have a map of our troop movements. It derails everything. Supplies, reinforcements. And it'll only get worse the longer we let it go on. Captain Curtis is heading up the investigation right now. He can fill you in. Hmm. Okay. Um, Curtis, never met him before. Honest. Goodbye. Bye. Alright, so we need to pick up some stuff. No reason not to do that right now. All of this. Over encumbered. Inconceivable. Eddie, help me. Alright. We are now D over encumbered. There's a few things to remember. We need to plant, kill Crenshaw, plant an explosive charge. So I think we want to do the things broadly in that order. So I suppose we should start with this garage door. It's right here. Okay, that takes us outside. Well, let's go and check it out. Uh, garage door. Okay, Davy Crenshaw's over there, 400 feet. So I guess, yep, yeah, this is the first item on our list. So let's go and do this first. Looks like he stood all the way over here on his own. Nobody's about to see what we do here. Hey, can't you see I'm busy here? Nah, I'm just kidding. This has to be the most worthless patrol duty on the whole base. They never attack this gate. They just put me back here because they don't think I can handle anything else. I've heard you're kind of a prankster. <laughs> my reputation precedes me, I see. I pulled a few pranks in my time. That's great, because I'm in the middle of pulling a prank right now. No kidding, what'd you cook up? I just pulled the pin out of somebody's grenade. Man, I can't wait to see the look on his face. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, Veronica! <gasps> Which bit of him is this? I think this might be intestines? Hard to be sure, but it's got a dog tag on it. My god, this got grotesque, didn't it? Veronica, I need you to carry some You're giblets. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? If Yes, yes, heavy giblets. Okay, so now there's a door 200 feet over there. And a door... Which door should I go to? I think I can go to this door, actually. This one will work. Right, this is the supply hey, shack. Contreras like is a merchant. In need of a reliable supplier. Got anything for sale? Take your pick. Oh, he has ammo. Don't think I need ammo at the moment. So I will say nay to what you offer here, but I will remember that you are here. See you later. Bye. Bye. Okay, Private Crenshaw's footlocker is over there. That's where we need to plant the oodles. And it's being marked in red to indicate that I should go sneaky-like. There are people around. But no one in this corner, it would seem. Yep, I'm hidden. Right, so we need to plant some specific items. It was an Abraxo cleaner, a conductor, a fission battery, some monorail sabotage plans, and a glue of wonder. That should be everything that's needed there. Indeed, that quest is updated. All right, the fix is in, if that is indeed the appropriate phrase to be using. Let's go blow up a monorail. Okay, what time is it at the moment? 6.39, okay. So I believe there's gonna be a changing of the guard. In fact, there's no one there right now. This is perfect timing. Yeah, we're hidden. Let's do it. Worked out very nicely for us. Also, I don't think much of their arrangement. They should really get the new the new duty in before the old ones knock off. But, yeah, not complaining. The train is about to depart. Please keep clear of the doors. Let, let's get off it, Veronica. We don't want to be on this. Oh, oh that was close. I thought Veronica was stuck on it. <laughs> that would have been awkward. Jobs are good. I mean, the thing is that the rails themselves haven't been destroyed. Just the train. So, you know, there seems to be another one here. But I suppose they've got to try and somehow get that across to this track. So, yeah, it is going to take them a while to, 
to restore their their functionality. Hello. No, not suspicious at all that I just came back through that door after the monorail departed. Don't know what you're trying to suggest. Right, let's talk to Shu. Everything we need is done. Yes, what is it? I know who bombed the monorail. What? Who? Private Crenshaw. He's dead now. Crenshaw. I've met Crenshaw at his disciplinary hearing. Still, this is hard to imagine. He was just a prankster. He had explosives and plans for the operation bearing Caesar's emblem. I was afraid of this. Caesar's reach is longer than anybody guessed. If only we'd caught this sooner, before he got to the monorail. Still, this investigation has been valuable to us, and you deserve to be compensated for it. The NCR appreciates the work you've done. Will there be anything else? I think I've done enough. Goodbye. Bye. All right, and so to complete the quest, we just go over to Curtis and tell him how expertly we handled the whole shenanigan. Well? Shu bought it. You should be in the clear. Perfect. This has turned out better than I'd ever imagined. This will pay dividends for the Legion for a long time to come. I was with Shu when the bomb went off. He'll never think to investigate me for it. I'll make sure Caesar himself hears about your success today. And take this, courtesy of the NCR. I'm sure they won't miss it. Thank you, goodbye. Later. All right, I'm going to end this episode here. I've got a plan, just a couple of things I'm going to do off camera. I have in this episode picked up the Lucky Shades, which give me plus one luck. I combine that with my Naughty Nightwear, which I had before, and my Luck Skill is at nine, which makes me think I should do a little bit of gambling. So off camera, I'm going to head back to the Strip. I'm going to go to the Tops. I'm going to go to Gamora, and I'm going to go to the Ultralux, and I'm going to get loads and loads of caps from them. And then at the start of the next episode, we'll decide what to spend them on, or maybe we'll save a few. Either way, that's for next time. I hope you'll join me for the next episode of Fallout New Vegas, The Joked. Goodbye.